it's Deborah with Traveling Well for Less. Today we're looking at the Scrubba, which is a portable wash bag. So this means you can wash your clothes anywhere. Your hotel room, uh, camping on the beach, in your RV, trailer, wherever you want to be. You can even wash your clothes at the airport. But this, you can see on the back here, they've got, they've got the little ridges. The ridges are inside. You can see the little knobbies. I'm going to get a little closer to the camera so you can actually see. So see the little, can you see through the packaging? Maybe you can see in the back. And then see the little knobs. There you go, you can see. All right, this is the scrub up. It's light. Um, it weighs five ounces. So super light. You can fit it in your carry-on bag or your check bag, whichever. So we're going to experiment with just one item today so I can show you how easy it is. And then plus, I'm sure you don't want to see all my dirty underwear. So today I'm doing laundry instead of hanging out on the gorgeous beach in Da Nang. So I'm using the scrubba. Normally I use the hotel sink, but they reached out to me and said, hey, could you do a blog post about scrubba? So we're trying it out. So we're going to experiment with just one item today so I can show you how easy it is. And then plus, I'm sure you don't want to see all my dirty underwear. So you get the items you want to launder, throw it in your scrubba, you add your wash soap, I only have one shirt, so I'm going to add just a couple drops, so I think that'll be fine. So after you add your, your soap, then you add your water. You're going to, you want to add it to the fill line. There's a fill line on the bag. It shows you, depending on how many garbage you have. Uh, if you just have one shirt, underwear, and some socks, you're only going to add a little bit of water. If you have several items, you're going to add a little bit more water. So we're going to add some water. correctly there's two black lines as you can see and you don't fold it over like this because then your bag will leak what you do is you fold the one black um, black line over the other see what I did here so you have two black lines fold one over the other and then you roll down you keep rolling until you get to the valve once you're at the valve you clip both ends of your bag like that pretty easy and then you open your valve to release excess air. Close the valve or else water will get out everywhere. You don't want that to happen. So anyway, so you got your clothes, you got your water, your bag's nice and sealed. You can turn it upside down, nothing's gonna leak out. So since I only have one item, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I'm I've got, I'm making pizza and I'm just going to knead it in my hands like this because it's really easy, it's really light. You probably can do this with a few items if you, if you want to get your arm work out of But if you have multiple items or things are really heavy, and press, you can lay it on the ground, a table, a um, chair, whatever kind of surface you want. And then you knead your bag like you're kneading dough. If you ever bake bread or, um, you know, You've had wash your clothes before. You use the exact same process. It only takes you three to five minutes per load of wash. So I've washed my, my one shirt. I think it's pretty clean. I think it's a lot cleaner than washing in the sink. Um, one, you know, you control what you put in your bag, so you know your bag is always going to be clean. And two, you've got the little ridges from the flexible wash. Um, and so you're agitating your clothes and you're rubbing it up against something so you're working all those fibers, you're getting all the dirt um, and any funky smells out. What's also cool about scrubby hair is you can see there's a little clear panel. So you can kind of see your, your clothes in there, see how much room you have, see how much water, see the suds and all that action. I did not put a lot of um, soap in here because I only have one shirt, so it didn't make sense. So after you sufficiently agitate your clothes long enough, you want to hook the bag, and you pour out the water. So that was the wash cycle. Now we're going to do the rinse cycle. 
I'm going to add some fresh water. Again, you're going to do it to the fill line, same fill line you did before. And as I'm filling this, I chose to do this in um, my bathroom. I normally wash my clothes when I travel. I do it in the bathroom, I use the sink. But this time I'm using the tub because it's a lot brighter than the bathroom. Um, and also it could capture in case I have any mistakes since this is my first time using Scrubba. Um, but the hotel I'm staying at is totally packed. Uh, there's so many people outside, lots of kids. I wasn't sure I wanted to film this outside and have everyone watch me, being the introvert that I am. Um, so I was a little camera shy. But you can easily take this with you. You can wash your clothes out on the beach. It's camping. Um, you can take it, you know, if you're going RV, on a road trip, whatever. And one little thing that is kind of cool, if you have young kids, like baby, you can wash a ton of their clothes, their little spit-ups, their blankies, all in this thing while you're traveling. And, you know, their, their garments are so light. Anyway, so I added the water back to the line. Again, you do the same process. You can let your excess air out. You're going to fold it over. Remember, fold one black strip over the other black strip, and then roll. Roll till you get to the valve. Clip your scrubs. You can let out extra air if you want, or you can just leave the air in this time because now this is the rinse cycle, so it's not so um, important that there isn't any extra air in there. So if you want to make sure you get all your studs out, you get a good rinse, shake it around. a little bit of dirty water in there and there's my suds and let your water out. Put the scrub right here. Black. So after you wash your items in your scrubba, then you rinse out any excess water. So you can hang up your items to dry or so now that my shirt is all washed and all the water's out. I'm going to hang it outside. So, well, I'll hang it outside once I get one of the hangers. So anyways, nice clean shirt. Smells good too. Thanks for watching.